In this video, I will guide you through the Clock Tune tool, which can be used to overclock and undervolt your GPUs. Overclocking is an advanced feature, so you should be careful when applying different values. First, navigate to Management and then click on Clock Tune. To add a new profile, click on the button Add New Profile. You will need to name your overclocking profile. I suggest you enter a name that will help you remember what overclocking settings did you save here. For example, 580FH for saving the overclocking settings for FH algorithm on AMD RX 580 GPUs. Under each clock tune profile, you can set up four different profiles depending on the GPU manufacturer, NVIDIA or AMD, and the software you are using, MSOS or Windows. To include the section to the update, Click on the light gray square that will show a plus sign, like this. Then enter the values for each of the available settings. Each section has different settings available and requires different formats of overclocking values. For example, power limit can be entered in watts or percentages. Core and memory clocks can be entered either as the offsets from the stock values or as the desired values and the fan speed can be set as automatic or static. Check the label of the field to know in which format the value has to be entered. If you don't want to set the value, leave the field empty or write skip. You can either enter one value, which will apply to all GPUs in the rig, or enter different values divided by space, which will get applied to each GPU in a rig separately, following the bus ID order. When you separate values by space, you will be able to see the ID of the GPU that will be affected by the value here. If you have more GPUs than entered values, all of the GPUs after the last ID will get the last value applied. With automatic fans, you can enter the minimum and maximum fan speeds and the target temperature. The system will try to keep the fans between the limits while maintaining the target temperature. When you are done, you can click on Save Changes and then navigate to your workers config to apply the Clocktune profile to one or more workers. I suggest that you always start with the stock values, which you are able to see from the workers profile page after you first run your rig with Minerstat software. Double check if Clocktune requires offset or the desired value and if the value will get applied to the right GPU. If you are trying to use the values that worked on some other system and don't work with Clocktune, try to ease up the values to first achieve stability and then fine tune them. If you have moved from Windows to Linux or vice versa, do note that you won't be able to use the exact same settings as drivers are responding differently. If you make a mistake and drivers stop responding, Remove the Clocktune profile from the workers config and reboot the machine. When the machine connects back, it will run without overclocking settings, and you can apply a Clocktune profile with improved settings to it. If you are running a rig on Windows, do not forget to run MSI Afterburner as well, as this is the software to which the Clocktune data will be sent to. A link to the latest recommended version can be found in the description of this video. For easier testing, you can also set overclocking settings directly from the worker's profile page. However, do note that this will create a new clock tune profile which will be applied only to that worker.